welcome to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy and Jules. Right now we're doing a classic review and our friend Supremo on YouTube requested, he requested this it. one. Thank you, yeah. Supremo. We got you. Thank you so much. We See, you. we listen. We listen. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> fresh came out in 1994, mm -hmm. but we're not talking about this kind of fresh. Yeah. We like Run DMC fresh. Not like that. Run DMC. Mm -mm. We talking about... This kind of fresh, <laughs> not the fun, funky fresh. This is not fun and funky fresh, okay? <laughs> so, so let me tell it. you about fresh. Fresh is rated R, and it stars Sean Nelson. You'll remember him from The Wood. He played the lead character, Mike. The one, didn't he get beat yeah, up? Yeah, Mike. Is that the one that got beat up by her brother? Yeah. And he kept getting back up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito, you'll remember him from School Days and a whole mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff. I love him. Breaking as an Bad. Actor. He was Gus in Breaking Bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's everything and everything. Yes. Long career. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Well of, well, of course. He's in everything. Of course he was in the movie. He's in everything. He's in everything. <laughs> I'm in, in everything. <laughs> Nabouche, right? Uh, I always remember her from her first movie, Zebrahead. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yes, that was a long, long time ago. I know. I even oh bought gosh. that like when Hollywood Video was going oh, wow. out of business. I bought <laughs> it for like two fifty or something. Hollywood Video, yes, <laughs> yeah. Blockbuster was the last one to go, but Hollywood Video, wow, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, and she was also in Blade, so okay. you might recognize her from that. But here, she's a young, fresh, yes, actress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so fresh. Mm. Let's get into it. Yeah. It, the, <laughs> the lead character is Sean Nelson, and he's, he's a twelve-year-old. He's a twelve-year-old drug dealer, just doing what he can. He, him and his uh, his sister and his cousins all live with their aunt. Their aunt took them all in. I think she, at one point she said she had eleven kids. Yeah, and the house was small, so people are piling up the on apartment. beds. They're trying to make it. Yeah, and this kid is yeah. unfortunately a product of his environment. Yeah. So he's saving his money, just stacking it away. Because mm -hmm. even his friends, the few friends that know that he's doing that, they're like, mm -hmm. well, you know, what are you doing with your money? It's like, don't worry about what I'm yeah. doing with my money. <laughs> but he's saving it, you know, and, yeah. and stacking it away. His sister's got problems. She's hooked on drugs. Yes, and she does not want to change. She does not no, want help. She doesn't. So their whole situation at home is just kind of grim. Yeah. And he doesn't seem like he's close with his sister. You right. know, they don't want to talk to each other. Well, she doesn't want to talk to him. Because she's older. Yeah. And then his aunt, you know, he's out here doing what he's doing and he keeps getting wrapped up in stuff that he didn't necessarily cause. He's not necessarily even a bad kid. Right. But he's getting wrapped up in stuff and it's making it bad. Right. So. But then, he still sees his dad, who's yes. Sam Jackson. And they play chess together. Mm -hmm. So if something happens in his life. Uh, this is a classic, so we can yeah, say it. We can insinuate, uh, you know, the, from the your own. The little girl that he's digging on that he likes mm -hmm. she gets shot by some stray bullets drive eyes and well, well they this, were on the basketball court yeah. so the dude got but, pissed and just started because he, he was losing a basketball game but this yeah. is like this was realistic for people especially i mean in the hoods in new york in the 90s and it's sad yeah it's very, very heavy so this kid is basically he's being forced to grow up fast yeah he saw that and he was like that's it it just he saw who did it before it was like you know it's not affecting me right live and let See? live but after this he's like i gotta play chess, chess with these guys with yeah. these bad guys and that's basically what he does is so play he's chess smart their life yeah he, he he took what he's learned off the streets to mm -hmm. try and get himself out of the situation so that's smart and try kids to get them smart. get yeah. back at them yes yes get, them get out rid of, of them situation. so he ain't got to worry about them the kid's yeah. really smart and mm -hmm. the little boy he does such a good job in the acting even in oh, the yeah. wood, he was good so yeah this was his yeah. first movie i believe oh, wow too. Yeah. That was, he's a leading role for that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we like, we really like fresh, but just so you know, it's kind of heavy. There's a lot of heavy. shooting and you know, you see the kids on the ground. So maybe with your teenagers, okay. But it, I mean, family movie would be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know when it got requested, I was thinking, oh, Ooh. I've seen it before, but it's kind of dark. Been a while. I, it is. I don't know, but we do say re make your requests and we'll watch them and we'll yes. review them. It's just one of those, you know, hood movies and it's re very realistic and sad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you're, I mean, you would be okay, even especially if you have young son, young sons um, and you, maybe you live in a hood, you don't live in a highly populated, you know, area. It's okay to watch this because it actually can teach a lesson. And it can be your teenage girls too, but it can teach a lesson. I say you know your child. Yes. 
Oh, speaking of your teenage girls, there was some. They never say why Sam Jackson's not taking care yeah. of his kids and why they're with the aunt. They're not but allowed But they do say them. that they're not allowed around them. And then at one point, mm-hmm. there's an uncomfortable scene where yeah. he's talking about his daughter and how beautiful she is. It's and even the gross. son's like, you know, that's your daughter. And he's like, well, yeah. shoot, I'm not blind. And we're like, I'm, I'm speculating maybe there something was some mo- molestation going on or something because. She also doesn't want to, she doesn't want help. She's in that mm-hmm. point where she's on the drugs and she doesn't want to get off the drugs. Right. She doesn't want help. And it's sad because she's so young and actually of the guys around the neighborhood know where. Yeah. So, yeah. Like she said, if you know your teen, this is a nice little family movie to watch on a weekend. You know, just kick back and learn some moral lessons. And yeah, I actually enjoyed it. This is my first, I didn't even know this movie existed. Really? So, yeah. Well, Supremo, thanks, Supremo. requested it. So, thank you. <laughs> We want to tell you thank you very much for tuning in to Gotta Be Real Movie Reviews with me, that's Johnny, and her, that's Jules. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube. YouTube. Like and subscribe now. See you later.